In today's video, I'm going to show you how to find a good web host. Hopefully, you've already watched my first video, How to Get a Domain Name. You will need a domain name and a web host to have your own website. Okay, a couple quick points before we get started. Number one, not all web hosts are created equal. You have the Walmarts of web hosting. These are the companies that offer you super wonderful monetary deals, but their products and services are very low quality. Then you have the Bijans of web hosting. These are the guys that charge 10 times more than everybody else because they supposedly offer you something that's that much better. These are the companies that offer what is typically called managed hosting. I would avoid them if you can. They're not all bad and they do provide some good services, but they're way too expensive. And then you have the companies that have a good balance. They provide the best bang for your buck, as they say. This is the kind of company you should go with. Point number two, I only recommend the web host that I use myself. So if you click my link in my description, it will take you to my web host that I use for all my websites. Why have I chosen them? I've chosen them because they have 24-7, 365 days per year technical support. And it's in-house, it's not outsourced. These guys know what they're talking about. They also give everybody solid state drives for all their hosting accounts, and that includes their shared hosting accounts. Not only that, they have a 90-day money-back guarantee, which is the best in the business. You really can't find that anywhere else. So rest assured, you're not taking any chances with your money if you go with this web host. Okay, point number three. If you use my link in the description, you will save over 50% off your web hosting with this high quality company and you will help me out a little bit, which will allow me to continue making high quality WordPress tutorials like these. Now, if you still have some questions about which web host you should choose, I have a couple articles that I've written. They're on my website, myboringchannel.com, and I recommend that you read them before we get started. I've placed links to those articles at the bottom of my description of this video. So check out those articles if you would like, and then come back here and we'll get started. So here we go. Okay, in the description of all my videos, you will see this link. When you click it, it will take you to this page. This is in motion hosting, and this is my landing page. You can see up to 56% off business hosting plans for my boring channel visitors. This is for you guys, for my visitors. And these discounts are significant. As far as I know, these are InMotion's best discounts. And look at the prices. They are very affordable. Here's a latte and a latte with an extra shot and a latte and a bagel with cream cheese. Folks, anybody can afford a website. So which one of these should you choose? Well, if you're just starting out, I think launch would be just fine. So go ahead and click order now. On this page, you choose the length of your term, okay? I would choose 24 months just because that's your best discount, but you can also choose 12 months. So click the one you want, then scroll down and click continue. Now, once you're on this page, you're going to choose this option here. I already own this domain or will handle the registration separately. Remember, in my first video, I showed you how to purchase a domain name and I purchased myboringchannel.net and then you click continue. Now on this page it tells you what you've selected, it gives you a couple options which we're going to ignore and then we're going to click continue. On this page we pay for our package. Go ahead and fill out your name and all your information and your credit card information. Say no thanks to the anti-spam and then here on this one where it says content management system auto installer be sure to click install WordPress. Then we won't have to install WordPress later. Scroll down just a little bit farther. Finish putting in your credit card information. Be sure that install WordPress is already checked. Then click purchase account. Now you will be at your order confirmation page. You are finished purchasing your web hosting. Now it's time to take care of a few more details. Within about a half hour, you should get a call from someone at InMotion verifying your order. Once that call has been completed, you will then get some emails from InMotion. There should be a couple here. Click on the one that says Welcome to InMotion. Scroll down a little bit and you will see your login information. You have to be able to log into your account management panel at InMotionHosting.com. 
But the first thing you're going to do have to do is set your password. So click on this red rectangle here, which says to get started, set your password here. You will then come to this page where you can set your password. Remember, you want to set a very complex password. Now be sure to write down your password in a secure location and make sure you always have access to it because since this is going to be a complex password, it will probably be hard for you to remember. Always write down your passwords and put them in a secure location. Once you have created a complex password, go ahead and click Submit. You will now see this page and it will tell you that your password has been set and that you may now log in. Let's go ahead and log in. Here you put in the email address you used to sign up with InMotion. And here you put in the password that you just set. And then click Login. Okay, we're not going to do a whole lot here right now. What we need to do next is we need to assign InMotion's name servers to our domain name. This will make our website work. So what we need to do is we need to go to Namecheap.com, which is where we signed up for our domain name. You will go ahead and sign in right here. I've already signed in. Once you sign in, click on Manage Domains. You will then see this page that says Your Domains. Scroll down a little bit and click on the domain name that you want to connect to InMotion. Over here on the left, you will see Transfer DNS to Web Host. Go ahead and click Transfer DNS to Web Host. Scroll down a little bit and you will see these empty boxes. These boxes are where you will put InMotion's name servers. This is what you must do to get your website to show up on the internet. Here are InMotion's name servers. You must put them in exactly as they are shown here. So I will copy this one, go back to Namecheap, and I will paste that right here. Then in box number two, I will paste this name server in. I'm going to copy this one, go back to Namecheap, and I'm going to paste that name server in this box. That is all I need to do. Now I click Save Changes. Now I have assigned InMotion's name servers to MyBoringChannel.net. Keep in mind that it could take up to 24 hours for your name server changes to take effect. So when you go to visit your website, it may not show up yet. But for me, it took about five minutes. And then when I go to MyBoringChannel.net, this is what I see. My website. It's here. WordPress is already installed. I now have my domain name working. I have my web host. I'm all ready to go. The next step is going to be signing into WordPress and then getting busy customizing WordPress. How can we do that? Well, scroll down a little bit here and you'll see login right here. Go ahead and click that and then you'll come to this page. Now where are you going to get this information? Relax, it's in the email that InMotion sent to us. So let's go back to our email that InMotion sent to us, the welcome email. Scroll down just a little bit farther and we will see our WordPress login information. Here it is right here. Username and password. So I will copy my username Go back to my blog, paste it here, go back to my email, get my password, and paste it here, and then click Login. Congratulations! You now have a domain name, you have set up your web hosting, you have assigned name servers to your domain name, and now you have logged into your website, your WordPress website. Now you are finally ready to start building your website. Congratulations, you now have your own domain name, your own web host, and you have your very own working WordPress website. In the next video, coming in a few days, I'm gonna show you how to choose a theme and then how to install that theme and get your WordPress website looking how you want it to look. Please subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos if you have a chance, there's a variety there. And also check out my website, MyBoringChannel.com. Now I realize I didn't cover a lot about AMP in Motion's account management panel, but it's an important place. Uh, there you can set up your emails, you can pay your bills, things like that. And there's a lot to learn about that. So I would get into 
the account management panel and browse around a little bit. And if you have questions, remember, InMotion's 24-7 technical support is right there for you. All you have to do is click chat and you can start chatting with them right there on the screen anytime you want. And they'll explain anything about AMP and cPanel that you might want to know. Stick around. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.